Hello! Yeah, vaping. I don't even like to burn tobacco or tobacco. So it's no wonder I don't like to burn fuel as well. Welcome to another video. Um, we're today doing the battery case for our electric motorcycle. So um, we have the batteries in place in, um, uh, and they're all packed nice and neatly. Uh, but now we need an outer shell to protect our batteries and obviously uh, to look better. Well, personally, I think it looks better with the lovely juicy cells of Lifepo 4. Uh, showing and, and then but yeah but nobody likes it except for me so yeah I'm doing the case uh, okay so we're I, I made a template um, and of, of uh, regular old uh, stiff paper uh, I guess there's a technical name for this I don't know what the name is in English so if you know hit me up in the comments so I can learn as I go and so I can improve my English as, as I'm doing this um, and then we are going to use the template to cut um, this material, it's a polystyrene, uh, um, stiff but very light and very resistant uh, material. You can buy those at, I guess, in the States, Home Depot. In, uh, in Europe, you can buy them in Leroy Marmain, I think. I don't know. Well, it, it's pretty easy to find in any general uh, store. So, yeah, let's get to it. We're going to cut the parts out of that material. Uh, we are going to stick them together um, in the form of our battery pack and then we are going to wrap it all uh, nice and neat in carbon fiber uh, vinyl uh, wrapping paper solution thingy. I really need to work on my English. So stay tuned. Um, okay, this uh, next bit will be a uh, time lapse and it will be, as always, 20 seconds. So here we go. We're finished. See, I work really fast. 20 seconds. You saw it. That was good. Okay, so yeah, uh, this is the shell for the, um, the battery. It's uh, only meant to keep the battery uh, dry and in, inside some kind of a box. It is really light um, and I remember the name of the material that I couldn't remember before. This is expanded polyurethane. That's what it is. Um, I really like to work with this material for stuff like this because it is extremely light, it is water resistant, it is non-conductive, it's extremely tough to bend and best of all you can simply cut it with any regular old knife. Once you cut it you can get really clean cuts out of this. I really like this material for this kind of project. Um, and because it is water resistant and is not water absorbent, uh, it will last for a long time. Of course, it does not provide the same level of protection that an all steel or all aluminium, yes, I said aluminium and not aluminum, it's aluminium, guys, um, would uh, protect. So, yeah, this is not as, it's not meant as a super tough battery protection case. It's just meant to keep the water out and it's just meant uh, to conceal to some degree the, the batteries. So uh, yeah, look at how it looks uh, in the bike before I assembled it with the duct tape. I, I had it in the, in the bicycle frame, in the motorcycle frame. And actually um, most of the parts were modeled uh, with the two side panels uh, stuck to the battery so that I could model them and, and get them to be the exact same size um, the exact size that, that we need um, Yeah, so check it out. This is how it looks So yeah, this is how it looks when It's in the bike. It's all held up by uh, Duct tape not duct tape uh, by tape regular uh, tape so now what we need to do is get it all nice and coerced together and um, wrap it in uh, carbon fiber 
vinyl. Yeah. So I think it looks pretty good, uh, mainly because it's not a fully square box. It's uh, it has the profile of the motorcycle frame. Um, so yeah, it looks uh, better than a square box of batteries. Uh, well, that's my opinion anyway. So now all we have left to do, actually two things. Uh, we need to wrap it up nice and easy, uh, neatly in um, carbon fiber vinyl. And afterwards, we need to attach it to the motorcycle frame. So yeah, here comes another time lapse. Um, and I will be able to do this uh, carbon fiber vinyl thingy, the paper Louis thingy. Um, pretty fast because I work really really fast, so it will take 20 seconds, starting now! See? What did I tell you? 20 seconds. That was fast. I'm tired of all that running around. Okay, so yeah. Here we have it, um, I'm going to uh, put it in the motorcycle frame and I'll show, you, show it to you in a minute. Right now it's only hold there uh, with a little bit of duct tape, obviously it will be screwed in place, but yeah, that is um, how it looks for now. So. Yeah, we still have our ways to go, but we're getting closer. Let me know what you guys think. Would you do it like this? Would you do it differently? Do you have perhaps a better idea? Uh, yeah, that's it for this video. Do not miss the next one. We're getting close. We're almost there, guys. See you later.